Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Allyholic. Today we're going to be checking out how to create custom power profiles and fan curves within Armory Crate SE. So I've noticed that a lot of people aren't even aware that you can do this. Now, that wouldn't be too big of a deal if the fan curves on the default profiles weren't just complete butt cheeks. So some people's devices out there may be running a bit more toasty than they need to be, but that's what I'm here for. Uh, I know ASUS has their own guides, but for some reason they aren't easily found via Google if you don't know what you're searching for. And the guides they do have are directed more towards the desktop version of Armory Create, and that's laid out a little bit different than this version. But uh, let's jump right into it. Once you boot into Windows, you should be thrown into Armory Create right here. If not, just manually open it. And once you're open, we're going to go over to the Settings tab and go down to Operating Mode. All right, let's get into operating mode. Now that we're here, well, you've got your operating modes. And we're going to be going over to this manual tab. You're going to click the manual. If you do not see these options below manual and you see this instead, just hit this little red uh, arrow there and it will drop down those options. So let's create a manual profile. But before we do, I want to add this little disclaimer i am not responsible for your device so if you just stop watching here and continue to mess around with these manual settings and something happens don't come crying to me that being said if you have questions please leave a comment i'll be more than happy to help you and i'm a very responsive person and the last thing i want you you guys to do is damage your device anyways let's create this profile to do so you're going to click on the vertical, the, the three vertical dots here, and select Create New. Now we're going to be working from the top to the bottom. So the first thing we're going to be doing is going into the CPU settings. Now these are the CPU wattages. The first one being the base wattage for the CPU, the second one being the two minute boost, and the third being the 10 second boost. Now for the sake of the video, we're going to keep these at the default settings, but if you want to mess around with them, go right on ahead, but we're going to move on to the fan curves. Now, we've got two fans in this unit, which is why we have fan 1 and fan 2. Um, I like to mirror what I do on fan 1 over to fan 2, so they're identical. I try to, at least. Um, you do have these little profiles up here to select, uh, select from, 1, 2, 3. Uh, but we're going to create a custom one because these default ones are terrible. And if you just adjust the wattages um, and that's it, and then these are set to one, you're going to have a bad time, a very bad time, because Fan 2 tech isn't even on. So let's say you set the, this profile up to 30 watts. You're going to run into major issues, overheating, thermal throttling, and potential damage to your unit it'll most likely shut off before any damage uh, it takes any damage but be sure to set a fan curve if you are in the manual mode so to set those fan curves you'll go over to your um first chart here and we'll start from the leftmost point and go to the right now it's pretty self-explanatory you'll click uh click or press on one of these little squares and move it around. Me personally, I like to keep a 20% uh, fan speed even when I'm at idle. I like to keep my device as cool as possible and slowly increase it as I do more demanding tasks. So let's go ahead and create a, a profile. So boop -a -doo. we'll do this, blah, blah, blah. I tend to like to get the fan um, speed around 70%. Um, if it's reaching these higher uh, levels, we'll just throw it on up there to go up to pretty much 100%. Um, let's adjust fan curve too. As you see, if you if you go to 30 watts and you just save it, you're going to be in for a bad time because this isn't even at, I think it's at 1%. So let's adjust that. To, ooh, that's too high. Like I said, I try to mirror it. Um, do this. Do, 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 do. I'm using a touch screen right now, and sometimes it's a bit unresponsive with little tiny tasks like this. So we'll leave it like that. Once you are done, 
you're going to scroll to the top and select that little box with the check mark in it next to where it says manual mode six. And it's going to give you a warning, kind of like the same warning I gave you guys. Now, like I said, I'm not responsible for your device. Be sure to create fan curves that make sense. Again, if you do have questions, please let me know down in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to help you. But what you'll do, just select yes, and bang, you got yourself a manual, um, uh, a custom operating mode. That's It's that easy. Um, if you guys, again, have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I know this is a, little, uh, a, a longer video, but I just wanted to get more in depth with it. Um, so yeah, you guys have a good one. Uh, leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.